Welcome back to GSC again. There's my neighbor. Well, he's kind of a long distance neighbor now because he moved, but we're doing six, five things, doing head studs. Now we're going to see if this thing's going to go together like we anticipate. When you say that you're retired from six, five things, but your neighbor says you're not retired from six, five things. We're doing head studs. Deck is good and clean, nicely prepped. This actually looks really good. Use some green scrubbies, break clean, and a Flat stone, knocked all the high spots off. It's in pretty good shape. So now what we're doing is taking our studs and putting them in. What we're working on doing is putting a little dab will do you if you want to squeeze that pat and I'll not be a one-handed wonder here. Just a touch. Helps when it's open. Ah, there we go. All right, we're open. Good enough. All right. So... All the holes have to be tapped before you get crazy. Otherwise, you will have a lot of issues trying to thread these studs in. Stud is gonna thread in like so. It bottoms out a little bit back. Because what happens is, is that this chamfer on that stud, when it runs into the head, can actually cause cracking. So I always go hand tight and back them off just a little bit. That way as you torque it, the threads bite and you're not damaging or distorting the deck of this engine. So we're gonna go ahead and get the 17 of these in and then we'll work on cleaning up and prepping to put the cylinder head on. Here's an important note. When you're using your Permatex high temp thread sealer on the bottom of your studs, clean up your mess when you're done because it will go absolutely everywhere on the deck and also up the shaft of the studs, the shanks. So we're getting this cleaned up and that way we can follow our torque spec. But we also have a tip and trick on how to put the gaskets on here without tearing them. So we'll get this cleaned up and move on to the next part, which is setting the head on with a gasket. Studs are in, gasket is set around our studs. These typically catch, and this is about as far as you're gonna get putting this gasket on. Also, another note is put your gaskets with the embossed numbers up. That's the only way to put them on, and that is the right way to get them to sit where they're supposed to. Now, we're going to bring this head over, and this head is going to sit down very gently. Okay. It's going to move the gasket and act as a press, and it keeps it semi-flat all the way to the base. It's on the dowels, so if we tap opposite corners there we go our head is now seated so what we can do next is start to get all of our nuts and washers here ARP sends a nice torque lube and what we're going to do is 50 pounds first 80 pounds second 120 pounds third and then come back and do a retorque in about 20 minutes at 120 to make sure that everything stayed tight cylinder head on the driver's side is on Cylinder head on the passenger side is on. We went ahead and followed our torque pattern here and made sure that we did one full pass at 50 pounds, second pass at 80 pounds, and the last pass at 120 foot pounds. And then I did a quick spot check of all of them at 120 foot pounds, just to make sure that nothing was potentially going to move or adjust itself as it settles. So now the heads are on, Pat's gonna go ahead and get ready to do his rockers, his timing cover, and his oil pan, prime up the engine, and that'll get it ready to rock and roll. So this is gonna be a sled pulling 6.5 in the gray truck back there. And hopefully we'll see what happens at the Lenawee County Fair come the end of July, early August. Hopefully this helps keep you guys out. Good luck. Thanks.